What's going on, YouTube? It's Team Grade Lock here. I'm your host, Enrico, and of course, I want to say to all my wonderful, beautiful faces out there, mm, this is just miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a Carver Vanguard Premium Mark Watch, meaning in this video, we're only going to go over Carver Vanguard cards in premium format, which cards are money, minus, or plus. Now, before we begin, of course, I want to tell you guys to, to comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel for more Carver, Carver Vanguard content, definitely more Mark Watches. Next Wednesday is going to be our premium clan mark watch, and I believe next Wednesday will be Great Natures. So we're only going to focus on Great Natures next Wednesday for the mark watch. Then Thursday is regular is a regular standard mark watch, and Fridays will be a regular premium mark watch. And of course, you guys already noticed that we're not we're not in my room. This looks nicer and cleaner. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the mark watch here and not in my room is because the AC is really bad in my room. So doing the mark watches in my room is actually. A little bit depressing because I'm just melting away while talking into the microphone while the hot fan blows in my face from the, from my own laptop. So for now on, the mark watches will be down here in my basement until winter comes because I can't do mark watches while sweating at the same time. So let's get on the market watch to see which cards are money, minus, or plus. Now I know I talked about this before in the last market watch to pick up Minervos, the SP Regalias. They are still going up. There's one, there's two left for forty bucks. After that, fifty-four dollars. So the SP Minervos are about to go up to fifty bucks. Again, the Triple Rs are still going for like a dollar, two bucks. You can still pick up those, but the SP Minervos are definitely going up in the market. Um, as for other Regalia cards, the Great Three Regalia Stride Break is still holding at 24, 25, 25 bucks, while the PG is actually still off the market. I mean, still about to leave the market. There's only two listings, one for 11 bucks. After that, $20. So the Regalia cards, the SP cards, will definitely leave the market. While this card, the, the Double R still goes for like a dollar, and then again, the Triple R Stride actually still goes for a dollar to two bucks. So. Again, I'm not guaranteeing that we're that this that these two cards are going to be used in the next meta when we get more Genesis support. Possibly, we might get Regalias in the next in the next set for for Genesis. Galaxy Stargate, of course, Stark is still a hundred dollars. Again, last time we saw Stark for like ninety bucks to ninety five bucks because the buyout was happening for Stark in in this set. The original Stark was getting bought out, not the reprint, not the not the Revival Collection reprint, but the original Starks have been bought off. There, there's only one left for a hundred bucks each. Uh, another card that I want to talk about that is actually going up a little tiny bit, uh, Bravest Victor, Grand Gallops, the SPs are about to be $15 to $16. This card was always like $12, $13, bucks, but now it's actually creeping creeping up to like uh, creeping up to the $16 mark. So if you guys want to pick up your SP Grand Gallops for less than $15, bucks, I recommend to pick up this last one. After that, you're looking at $15 and more. Now, a couple of great intro cards that I do want to talk about, Honorary Professor uh, Chat Verite, that stride break for uh, Chat Noir. This card may potentially go up just for the fact that we are getting more great, great intro support and people are assuming it's going to be chat noir. So if, if we are getting chat noir support for great natures, this strider break, I can, I can guarantee you will be bought off the market, the SP version. I mean, for the longest, this SP strider break was going for like three bucks, uh, three fifty, but it's actually creep, creeping up to a $5 mark. There's one listing for less than four bucks after that, looking at four bucks and change and then eventually $5. So this strider break for, cha uh, for chat noir is about to, is about to go uh, about $5. While the actual double R version of this card is like a dollar or 50 cents barely. Another great intro card that I do want to talk about, which is actually it, which is going up in the market, and people should actually pick them up before they become five bucks. Uh, I believe it's here. All right, so amazing Professor Big Belly. This card is slowly going up, going off the market, just for the fact that people are realizing that this grade three is a pretty good Vanguard grade three and also a broken grade three in the regard circle. Basically, people are using ama amazing Professor Big Bellies as as another Cran Tiger. Uh, so. Uh, this card was always two bucks. I mean, when when it crashed down to like a dollar, it's been holding from a dollar to to a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five, and then eventually two dollars. But there's only seven listings for the triple R, not the SP, the triple R version of Amazing Big Belly. So there's one, two, three, four listings before it reaches before it reaches the eight dollar mark. So guys, if you guys want to pick up your amazing big bellies, the triple R's, I recommend to pick them up now before they become an eight dollar card. Ultimate Stride, of course, a lot of cards in the set were 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 definitely money. Uh, mainly gold paladins, angel feathers, uh, kagros, but a lot of them have tanked super hard. Uh, the Gurgwitz Stride is down till ten bucks. 
Uh, let's see what else we can find. The Angel, the Angel Feather Stripe is down to two dollars. Well, barely two bucks. Again, a lot of cards in this set definitely took a, took, took a huge hit, mainly for the fact that it did get reprinted in the in Revival Collection too. But a lot of cards, a lot of Gold Paladins, Angel Feather cards have definitely tanked just for the fact that we got the reprints from uh, Revival Collection too. Dragon King's Awakening, of course. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, Henry, why are you why are you doing Mark Watch on Dragon King's Awakening? This set was was terrible. Now a lot of cards are actually going up in value. Uh, Claret Sword Dragon Revolts, the SP versions are going for twenty bucks again. I don't think it's twenty dollars for the fact that it's good. I think it's twenty. I think it's twenty dollars because it's an old card. Uh, this Claret Sword Dragon, of course, it's not bad, but it's not that great to be twenty dollars as an SP. While the actual uh, double R version of this card goes for like less than a dollar. Um, let's see what we can find. A uh, Steam Tamer Arcas, the the reprint, not the originals. The reprints are going for twelve dollars, and then eighteen to nineteen to twenty dollars. So Steam Tamer Arcas are definitely going up. Are definitely being bought off the market. Uh, v Busters are still holding at two, two bucks, two, three bucks. Uh, this grade two Neo Nectar, uh, Pl Plurma Flower Maiden, uh, Char Char Charlie. Uh, the SPs were always like five, four bucks. Now they're going up to ten dollars. Uh, Chrono Dragon Gear Next are also going up in the market. They were always like five bucks and change, but now there's there's two listings for seven bucks. After that, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an eight dollar card. Let's check if Gear Next is is gonna go up to eight dollars. It is eventually. Uh, there's a couple. There's what one, two, three, four, five. There's five. I'm sorry. There's five listings before it becomes an eight dollar card. So Chrono Dragon Gear Nexus are also being bought. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of Gear Chronicle cards are being bought are being bought off the market. I'm not too sure why, because we're definitely a little bit far away from getting more Gear Chronicle support. But after seeing that, after seeing the the PG uh, Arcas, the reprints, not the original ones, actually being bought off the market, going going past ten dollars. I am assuming people are actually picking up Gear Chronicle cards. Uh, another card that's also going up in the market, the SP Midsummer Flower Princess Lita's. This card, the SP was like always four or five bucks, but now they're, they're actually going up to seven dollars and then eventually ten dollars. Uh, that was always money. Uh, Eradicated Dragonic Descendant Sigmas, the regular Triple R version. Not the SP, the regular Triple R versions. Uh, Sigmas, there's two listings for two bucks. After that, seven dollars. So this another another broken grade three. Well, basically it's a broken grade three rear guard or vanguard. Uh, this card is also being bought off the market. Again, we just got released that we're getting more uh, more uh, Nerokami support. But the Nerokami support that we're getting, it looks like it's going to be Gauntlet Buster. So we're assuming we're going to get more Eradicator support. So this card is definitely being bought off the market. There's only two listings for two bucks. After that, looking at six to seven dollars each. Uh, Spark Kings, the triple R versions. Again, this card took a huge hit, was down to two bucks, and then now it looks like it's creeping on up to five dollars. There's one listing for three bucks, after that, three bucks and change, and then eventually five dollars. Uh, let's see what, what else we can find. Um, I know there's definitely more cards in this set that I want to talk about. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, so this, uh, this grade two Nubatama. Uh, this rare is actually going for value. Um, this card was always being bought out. Like literally, like legitimately, almost every week I would sell like 20 copies of this grade two rare. But right now at the moment, this grade two rare is going for a dollar fifty. Eventually, it's going to be a dollar card and then two dollars. There's only eight listings for this card. Again, there's a couple of listings for less than a dollar. After that, I mean, there's a couple of listings for less than two dollars. I'm sorry, less than two dollars. Then after that, it's going to be a three dollar card to eventually a four dollar card. And there's only eight listings. So if you guys have this grade two rare uh, Numbatama from your comp from your boxes, definitely recommend to pull them out. Giggity. Pull them out and definitely sell them off for dollars or two bucks each. Demonic Avenue, of course, one of my favorite sets from the old, 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 old G format uh, sets. Uh, Made in Spring Leons, the SP uh, PG for uh, Blasters, are still bought off the market. There's only one. There's one listing for twenty six after that thirty six dollars. But that's not the main reason why we're actually why we're actually taking a look at this uh, at this particular set. Um, there's actually more Gear Chronicle cards in this set, but another SP that's also being bought off the market, New Style Blaster Lou, the the, the Great Three for Blasters Lou's. The SPs are about to be bought off the market. There's one left for for nine dollars. After that, fourteen dollars. So this Great Three uh, Blaster Lou, the SPs are about to be a thirteen to fourteen dollar card, and that's it. There's no more. There's only two listings. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, Mujin Lords. The SPs are going for si for six to seven bucks, while the Triple R's are actually going for seven to eight bucks. So again, if you guys want Mujin Lords, buy the SPs. The SPs are are apparently cheaper than the Triple R's. Um, let's see. Let's see what else we can find. I'm pretty sure there's more. 
uh phoenix birds i know i'm looking for that card of course uh, pulsar cruising dragons are still seven to eight bucks that hasn't really changed but there's actually more more copies online which is pretty great um uh, let's let's find again like i said the mujin lords the triple r's there's one listing for for less than five bucks after that seven bucks and eight dollars where is that phoenix i know i know there's another gear chronicle card in this set that definitely went up in value um if not i'm just type it oh, here it is Metal Pulsar, uh, Metal Pulsar, Avner Phoenix. Of course, this triple R was down to like two, three bucks, but now it's slowly creeping on up past five dollars, and there's only eight listings left. So there's one listing left for less than five bucks. After we're looking at five dollars, then seven dollars, and then eventually it's going to be eight to ten dollar card. So uh, Metal Pulsar, Avner Phoenixes are definitely being bought off the market. It looks, it honestly looks like a lot of Gear Chronicle cards are actually being bought off the market. So guys, if you guys want to pick up your Gear Chronicle cards, I recommend to pick them up now before they become even more value. Fun fact, Dark Dragon Plot Mega Dragons looks like they're five, six bucks. You're actually wrong. <laughs> There's only two listings for less than six bucks. After that, we're looking at seven dollars and eventually eight to to thirteen dollars. So, uh, plot maker dragons are definitely going up. Not the SPs, by the way. The double R's. Of course, Drag Saver Eros, the the infamous PG for Shadow Paladins. This PG is back up to thirty dollars again. I hate the fact that this card has, is literally bouncing back and forth, back and forth. It never holds this. It never holds a steady price at twenty five. Like once this card goes down to twenty five, pe people just pick them up. But there's uh, five listings, 30 bucks each. Well, actually, there's only three listings for, th for 30 bucks. After that, we're looking at 38, 37 to $40. And so, again, Drag Savers, Eras, one of the best PGs in, in, the whole, in the whole entire game is actually $30 and more now. Absolute Judgment, of course, a lot of cards in this set are definitely value. But right now at the moment, we're, gonna, we're just going to focus on Grand Blue because a lot of Grand Blue cards have been bought off um, from this set. Uh, Night Rose, the original Grade Three, the SP from the SP pack is actually going up to forty to forty six dollars. There's one listing left for twenty three bucks. After that, we're looking at forty three bucks, and there's only three listings for that for that Grade Three. So that kind of says that Grand Blue cards are actually being bought off the market. Well, mainly the SPs from the SP pack, and I'm pretty sure there's a Triple R stride uh, Gawash. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. He's also going up in the market. Um, all right, so the Great Three, uh, Gauch, Te uh, Tempest, Calling, Pirate Kings, the SPs. Are, there's one listing for 15 bucks. After that, look at 19, then 20. There's only four copies of this card, the SP version. So we're gonna assume the Triple R actually goes for like five or six or seven bucks. Um, again, a lot of Grand Blue cards are actually being bought off. A lot of people are getting ready for Grand Blue support, which comes out, in, I believe, next month or in two months. So people are definitely getting ready for Grand Blue. Um, this this G guard for Grand Blue. Uh, Necro, li uh, Necro li Lilies, the SPs. There's two. There's two listings left for 17 bucks. After that, 25 dollars, and, well, and there's only four copies left. So this G guard for Grand Blue, the SP versions are about to be bought off the market as well. So like I said before, Tempest Calling, Pirate Kings are definitely being bought off the market. The SPs are being bought off to 20 dollars, while the Triple R's are actually being bought off to be a 10 dollar card. Uh, there's only six listings, one left for seven bucks and change. After that, we're looking at 10 dollars, and then eventually, apparently, 25 dollars. So if you guys have this this uh stride this uh triple r stride tempest calling pirate kings definitely recommend to put them up to put them up in the market for like eight ten bucks because apparently this stride is being bought off the market people are picking up this card people are getting ready for grand blue another fun fact cherry blossom blizzard maiden uh, lily lily gun the sp's uh this pg is still bought off the market there's only one copy left for 20 bucks i'm pretty sure no one's gonna buy for 20 bucks i'm pretty sure people will buy for like 10 15 bucks but 20 bucks for this pg that might be irrelevant because i'm pretty sure neonic the best pg that neonic has ever got was from uh was from uh try three next or try try yeah try three next so this pg i'm not really too sure why the sp has been bought off the market while the regular version of this card still goes for like less than a dollar um, it's, it's not the best pg for neonectors so i'm just definitely gonna let you guys know that and of course flow goes the crit trigger for blasters is just bouncing back and forth in prices last time we saw for like two three bucks four bucks now there's one cheap listing for five bucks after that uh, five bucks and change and then eventually it's gonna be 12 to 13 dollars there's only four listings for this crit trigger for blasters flow goes Boucher Road, please reprint it. This common critical trigger is way too expensive for, for more than five dollars. More than five dollars for a common crit trigger. Boucher Road, please reprint it. So we're back to Fighters Collection 2017, and a lot of cards in this set are still value, but the biggest one of all is final uh, Priscilla's the GBAs for, for, for Bermuda Triangle. There's one left for 15 bucks after that, 21 to 22 dollars, and there's only five listings. 
So this GB8 has been consistently bought. Like this GB8 went went up to 14 and 15 and 16. 16 was the highest that we saw last time. But now the highest is 21 to 22 dollars. You damn weebs. That's eh, okay. My be my best friend Alphonse Zeus is a weeb. So again, the 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 buyout for this GB8 is definitely real, just for the fact that Bermuda Triangles that we just received is insanely broken. So I'm not too surprised that this GB8 actually went up to $20. Um, the GB8 for Grand Blue is still holding at 15, 16 bucks. Do not buy the G guards. Do not buy the G guards. A lot of them got reprinted. Just double check. Uh, the GB8 for Genesis is still holding at seven, eight bucks. Uh, Die Kings are nine to ten bucks. Um, again, not too many cards have changed. Like I said, the main GB8 at the moment is definitely is definitely the the Bermuda Triangle one. Uh, Amaterasu's GB8 is seven seven eight bucks. Uh, this G guard for for Royal Paladins. There's only two copies left. One for eight bucks. After that, ten dollars. Uh, the Nova Grapplers GB8 is still holding at eight eight to nine bucks. Uh, Nova Thomas GB8s are holding at six to seven bucks. And of course, the biggest surprise of all that people are still a little bit triggered by. The GBA for Mega Colony is still holding at five bucks and more. There's actually only one copy left for five bucks and change by a new seller, by the way. But after that, we're looking at ten dollars each. So the GBA for, for Mega Colonies are still value. And there's actually one more GBA that I, want, that I want to look at that I'm pretty sure a lot of people do not notice whatsoever that actually has value now. I'm um, pretty sure it should be here. It should be in the fourth page. Uh, here we go. So this GBA for Neon Nectars is also being bought off the market. There's only what, what seven? No, there's only four listings for this GBA. Uh, the cheapest one is for less than four. I'm sorry, there's two cheap listings for less than four bucks. After that, we're looking at six, and then eventually nine dollars. So this GBA for Neon Nectars is definitely becoming a, a five to nine dollar card. So since we just talked about Gear Chronicle cards, Steam Tamer Arcas, the SP, someone finally listed it up for seventy dollars. We finally have at least one listing for Steam Tamer Arcas, the SPs, even though it's seventy dollars. But finally, this SP, this SP uh, PG has been bought off the market for months, almost a couple years now. I'm sorry, I think maybe like one or two years now. Um, I sold mine for uh, for hundred each. Uh, again, the demand for this SP PG is one hundred percent real. So again, if you guys are looking for this SP Arcas, definitely recommend to pick it up for seventy bucks. Is it worth spending seven? Is it worth spending seventy dollars on this PG? Um, in my honest opinion, I feel like it is actually because of the fact that again, this SP PG has always been bought. People have have been actually dropping a lot of money on this SP PG. So is it worth spending seventy bucks on it? Possibly. Actually, it, in my opinion, it could be. But I mean, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. All right, so again, we just saw the reprints. The reprints are going for twelve to eighteen to nineteen to twenty dollars, while the original double R actually goes for seven to eight bucks. So again, if you guys want to pick up a Steam Tamer Arcas, not the reprints, the original one actually goes for seven to eight bucks. Uh, there's actually eleven listings, so I definitely recommend to actually pick up those before buying the reprints. So that's the Mark Watch for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys have any comments, leave a comment down below. I love reading and replying to your comments. So definitely, definitely leave a comment down below. And of course, I'm going to tell you guys to hit the bell button, even though I don't care. But the YouTube community cares. The whole YouTube algorithm cares. So hit the bell button. I love you if you don't. I love you if you will. Love you no matter what. Uh, of course, I just want to give my last words before I end the Mark Watch. Uh, Grand Blue cards are being bought off the market, mainly SP cards, except the the the, the Triple R Stride Gauche from uh, from Absolute Judgment. That card is that card is actually going up in value. It's now becoming a ten dollar card. So again, people are getting ready for Grand for Grand Blues. Gear Chronicle cards are also being bought off the market. Uh, Gear Neck Chrono Dragon Gear Nexes. Uh, the PGs are being bought off the market. Uh, Phoenix, we just we, we Avner Phoenix Metal Pulsar Avner Phoenix. We always seen it for like a dollar or two bucks, but now it's becoming a ten dollar card eventually. So people are buying out Gear Chronicles and Grand Blue. Um, if you guys have, if you, like I said, if you guys are looking for them, I recommend to buy them now before they become a little bit more value before they're completely bought off the market. Again, the the one thing that actually surprised me in the market watch today is that we actually have one copy, one SP copy of Steam Tamer Arcas. That that's that's just it's literally just triggering me. It's making me want to buy it for seventy bucks. Maybe I might do it, or maybe I might not. Maybe I will. I don't know. Seventy seventy dollars is a lot, but again, this PG is always bought off the market. It never stays. It never stays stays in the market. All right, guys, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This is.